Hello and welcome to China Daily's The Week, your source for all the news you don't need. I'm your host, Belle Taylor. Is there such thing as a sexy job? Firemen are sexy. Pool cleaners are sexy. Multi-million dollar playboys are sexy. But what about bean curd sellers? Chinese netizens got a little hot and heavy recently when pictures of a particularly attractive bean curd seller in Taiwan went viral on the Chinese internet. It did not take long before modelling photos of Chen Yi Ting were dug up and started to do the rounds online, providing that he really was a big hunk of bean curd. Don't you hate it when you have errands to run, things to do, but you're hooked up to an IV drip? A man in Wenzhou, Zhejiang province surnamed Wu was not going to let the fact that he was hooked up to a piece of medical equipment get in his way. Police pulled Wu over on the highway when he was doing 80 kilometres an hour with a metal pole sticking out the window. He was also on his cell phone. But don't worry, Wu assured the officers there was no danger because he was very good at multitasking. Police told him he would have to add paying a 50 yuan fine to his myriad of tasks. Wu also had four points deducted from his driver's license. Teenagers around the country have been putting their best foot forward for the notoriously tough Gaokao examinations in recent weeks, but one student more than most. Peng Chao, who lost his arms as a child, not only sat the Gaokao using only his feet, but he scored 603 points, meaning he will be able to apply for some of China's top universities. His dream is to study civil engineering, and we wish him all the best. That's all from us this week, but before you go, check out some clips from US talk show host Jimmy Kimmel. He asked some children to make their father's breakfast for Father's Day, but serve it to them in the shower. See you next week. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, I'm making. <laughs>